Welcome to my channel. Today I'm menu you with these some pad bake. I have a previous video with my with doing pad bake, but because I didn't able to show you guys from start to finish, so I'm doing it over again so you can see everything how I start and how I finish. Okay, stay tuned. And in, in these bowls is one cup of great coconut, fresh grated coconut. <coughs> This is five cups of flour. I'm going to add the coconut into the flour. The essence, I'm going to use half a tablespoon. Mix essence. Two tablespoon of butter. Two tablespoon of baking powder. Nutmeg, it will be like half quarter tip teaspoon nutmeg, the cinnamon, grind cinnamon, water also, and combine everything together. This is two and a half cups of water. And this is Pillsbury all purpose flour I'm using. Sure, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit more. No. Uh -uh. Good. I have to use this whole two and a half cup of water. I might gotta use some more, add some more water into this flow. Hmm. You will not believe that I forgot to put sugar in this thing. But I'm going to add it because the good thing I didn't finish mixing it. So I'm going to add the sugar. This is four tablespoons of sugar. Still mixing everything up. So we're going to combine. Mistake are made. I didn't have to show you guys, but you know, the reason why I show you guys is so that nobody's perfect. I know, I know you, Jay. 
Bro, I'm gonna tell you. 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 I'm gonna The reason why I'm mixing it like this, I wanted to let the sugar melt into the flour. By the time I put this flour, this dough to raise, you're not going to see this no more. I'm gonna leave it here for like 15 to 20 minutes and let it prove and then I'm gonna come back when it's raised I'm gonna mix it puff it down and then bake it this is coconut pat bake if I didn't mention it and as I said before, the mistake that I make it in, mix the flour, the sugar into the flour same time. But it's a good thing that I think quickly and I didn't completely mix everything in. So I would even I'd get the chance to mix the flour in and pop it. So stay tuned to the next part. I'm going to cover it down with a paper towel warm paper towel you know wet it with warm water and cover it down and then leave it there mm -hmm. i'll be back so i'm gonna punch it back down one more time Give it another 15 minutes to breathe, to raise. Freeze again. So now we're gonna 
Charge out on this board here. And I'm gonna bust it. And I already spread the pan. I'm gonna use this to bake it. Normally a pot bake is supposed to be in a pot. But I'm using this pan to bake it. All the excess flour. It's the same way you would make coconut flour big. And this took much more longer time than I expect. It's about an hour and a half since I finish mixing and leave it to raise. Now this is going to raise up over this, a bit so. So I have the, the stove, I mean the oven on 350 degree and as soon as it gets hot I'm going to place it in the oven and let it bake for five, to five minutes to an hour. Now let it take the bake out of the oven. I'm gonna base it with some butter. Let the butter melt. I'm gonna please turn this bake out, throw it out of the baking pan as you can see and look at it. So I'm gonna cut it. Oops.
Cut the, the middle and you dab the butter and let that butter melt in. Last of the bottle like this. Mm. Put the bottle all over. Mm. And this can serve with some nice mush tea, hot chocolate, coffee, anything of your choice. Eat a piece of cheese. Mm. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Soft. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for all my viewers. Coconut pot bake. Thank you.